Okay, uh, we'll load back in. Uh, set the parking brake on this thing. Let's try that again, but do not... Yeah, do not do... I suppose I could test this thing without a kernel, but what fun would that be? Um, yeah, do... <laughs> Do not do not turn SAS on in the atmosphere. It'll uh, we get it'll oscillate hard enough to kill the poor dude. I guess it didn't act. It it didn't kill him first. It it tossed him out of his seat. It, yeah, his seat. He broke loose from the seat and he, he hit the rest. He re slammed into the rest of his vehicle. Okay, uh, who's up? Yeah, two of these guys. Oh, they're they're lying down there in mourning. They're in grief. Who is this? Lewis, James Lewis. Get up, man. Stop mourning over Kerman Freeman. You must carry on his legacy. No, Lewis, he's he's tough. He he's he's not. You know he knows that that's this is this is really the way to to remember remember his friend is to to get in here and actually fly to mission. This this will be a good memorial to him. I really, I, I yeah, we can get into orbit. It's. I really hope that this whole re-entering thing <laughs> works. <laughs> uh, he can just barely see over the top of that thing. I suppose he sort of... It just occurred to me, I don't have any lights on here other than the what's on the batteries. Can you turn his lights on while he's sitting there? Guess not. Okay, turn this on. Um, turn parking parking brakes off. Oh, I did not mean to click the gear. That's okay. It didn't really matter. Just, uh, just extend the gear again. Oh, thud, bun, crunch. Ah. Damn it! I guess it does matter. Here, uh, get out of the seat. Leave seat. Thud. Bang. Uh, get off the runway, because we're going to have to reload this thing. I just, yeah, I just, I just clicked the wrong button. No, it's a good thing you didn't try to fly that one, huh? Or, or maybe, maybe Lewis was so upset... You know, over what happened before that he did, he did this deliberately just because he didn't want to fly the thing. It's possible. Uh, let's go space center. Click on this. Uh, one Kerbal Orbiter launch. Interesting. It didn't tell me. It didn't ask me whether I wanted to clear the old one off the runway. I'm used to it asking that. Oh, maybe this is why. Uh, this is unfortunate. No, hey, I okay. Um, we definitely we're bugging something out in the whole system. It it doesn't it doesn't like this. Oh, that's unfortunate. Mm, can we like, what happens? Can can we like revert revert back to space plane hangar? If we if we launch this way, will it will it clear the vehicle off the runway? Now we've got, now we have two of our one Kerbal orbiters spliced together on oh, struts doing bad things come on guys why you're doing this shit let's try and fix this oh, well maybe that part it, it just doesn't matter it doesn't really need it Save it. Good. Okay. Okay, let's try launching from here and see what it does. Launch. Oh, it didn't ask me if I wanted to remove the others. Why is this breaking like this? This is unfortunate. Something is seriously broken in my game, but I don't know what. So now I have... Do I have three of these spliced together? Crunch, bang, boom. Okay, well that should clear the field for if we want to put a fourth one out here, right? Good. I mean, can I can I just uh, maybe I can select the individual pieces and I can. Oh wait a second, no, no, resume flight. Can we, I want to recover here? Recover that. Okay, let's try it now. Now, one Kerbal Orbiter. Launch that. Okay, yeah, just a couple pieces sitting over there, but it'll work. Good, all right, switch over here. Do we get, um, oh, we actually have our other guy. Um, who is this? Jeeksbit Kerman. Okay, yeah, Jeeksbit, stand up. Uh, 
Yeah, Lewis James Lewis, he was apparently having some problems. Uh, so you are going to run this mission. Oh, I forgot to... Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Switch, no switch, no switch. Uh, parking brake. Important, important, important. Good. Switch, jig spit. Good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out how to do things in this game sooner or later. Oh, okay, it was not close enough. Close enough now? Yeah, bored. There we go. Now we're all kind of crooked on the runway. Turn parking brake off. Precision control is on. Fire airspeed settings. Turn equivalent airspeed on. Resources on. Like the engines. Uh, see, parking brake is off. Okay, jeek spit. It's it's been really kind of a, a a rough start to some of this stuff, but I think you you you've got what it takes, man. Right stuff flows through your veins, and you shall be first Kerbal in orbit. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna tr put pitch back until we hit like a hundred meters per second. Actually, throttle back some just to kind of ease into. It. Ooh, getting kind of. Kind of squirrely. Pitch back. There's a rotation. Pitch back more. Come on. All right. Dump the wheels. We do not need those. Good. Yes, if I heard the noise, it's something breaking, but I'm certain it wasn't all that important. You know, those, those, uh, that was pieces hitting the ground back there. No, we, we didn't need that stuff anyway. <laughs> okay. So, uh, again, yeah, we're just going to manually fly this as uh, that SAS is problematic for this particular vehicle. Let's go do the go full throttle on it. Let's see how high we can get. Okay, so, so yeah, let's, we're not going to mess around with any time compression or anything. Let's just maintain an attitude like this. Keep on climbing. Yeah, about, about, let's, yeah, keep our equivalent airspeed around this 140. Coming up on 5,000, which our engines should be good until, say, just on, say around like 14 kilometers, right? Starting to climb high enough, we can see some of the stars peeking through the atmosphere, which is always cool. Yeah, Mach number is still gradually increasing. Yeah, this vehicle may... Okay, well, yeah, Mach number slightly increasing. I think this vehicle, it just, it just may not have enough just... Uh, raw guts for enough strength, power to really punch through to supersonic. What with a very unusual configuration, lots of X drag, lots of parasite drag all over the thing. Should we try and and look at doing? Okay, here let's get let's get above. We're about to hit Mach 1.2. Let's get above that. Then we'll try. And now our, our, in, our acceleration is increasing. Let's try and do a more more aggressive pitch up maneuver carefully uh, oh oh okay maybe not okay stop uh, let's actually jettison all that junk light this engine see can we pitch it up oh oh come on now we can do something with the SAS nope nope come on come on oh man <laughs> this is being Really kind of awkward and difficult. All right, throttle up here. No. I'm still trying to do this handling it with the joystick. Yeah, can you be a, mo a more inefficient launch profile, you know? All right, let's throttle back some. Can we get regain some control with this thing? Regain some control. Let's actually, since we're th thinking about trying to be a rocket at this point, I'm going to go back to keyboard control yeah we have maybe we need we actually do need a stronger reaction wheel for this thing all right let's give it just enough rocket to kind of help me steer 
with the gimbal. We're climbing. Okay, try and turn the SAS on and throttle up. And we don't need full thrust. Yeah, let's kind of get it under control. Good. Apoapsis is, is up there. And now, now we're flying like a rocket. Okay. Wow, that the whole transition stage from airplane to rocket was really ugly and awkward. <laughs> and we wasted a whole lot of fuel doing this. I'm going to say it's, it seems extremely unlikely we're doing this whole orbit thing. Okay, but there's our apoapsis is out of the atmosphere. Good. Okay, punch that. Uh, tell you what, let's actually uh, kill that. Let's jettison that stage. I want to coast on up here to apoapsis before uh, getting rid of getting you know before light uh, thrusting with our our orbital stuff. Let's roll right side up. Oh man. Okay, uh, the, the, the challenge. This is being very, very entertaining. This is some of the most difficult stuff that I've attempted in Kerbal Space Program in quite some time. <laughs> and and, and if, if, you know, if you're difficulty looking for a challenge, we have definitely met those goals. Okay, yeah, still climbing. I'm coasting on our ballistic arc up here. I really don't know how, how much... Uh, how much delta v will it take to get to orbit from this planet? Oh, it's, it doesn't know how to. What 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 thing to give me? Uh, what what symbol? It's okay. We'll fix that later. Let's not be messing with it right now. Okay, we're out of the atmosphere. Geekspit is the first Kerbal out of the atmosphere. How you doing, dude? You smiling? Yeah, it's hard to see. He's watching his tapes wind. <laughs> Okay, coming up to uh, Apple App, uh, Apple Apps this very soon. Let's aim it right down here. Like this. Let's actually aim that kind of downwards like this. All right. Thrusting away his little ant engines. <laughs> Periaptus number scrolling away very, very slowly. We should actually point this more horizontal here. Maybe point it up a little bit at this point. There we go. Let's get to the left of the 90 degree line a little bit, see if we can correct the inclination while we're at it. Need this anymore? Okay, about half of our fuel gone. I really, I really don't know. Do we have enough fuel to do this? I suppose I could put a maneuver node and figure out, and it tell me, but I just don't want to. Regardless, Jeekspit is is going to find out whether this whole configuration is um, you know, workable for re-entry. <laughs> whether we reach orbit or not, he's definitely going to find that out. Let's see, our rate of our rate of descent is coming up. This this may actually work, guys. Down here like that. Remember to get leave enough fuel. That doesn't need much fuel to come back. Okay, we're like that. That's technically yeah. It's out of the atmosphere, but uh, okay, that's an orbit. We have just barely enough fuel to to deorbit. Okay, that works. That works. Let's go to camera free. Wow! All right. <laughs> that was that was exciting. Is what that was. Okay, Jigspit. How are we doing? An electric charge. Still two oh eight. 
<laughs> I enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I think when yeah, we'll, we'll do we'll do at least one full orbit around the planet, and then when we get around to the apoapsis again, then we'll burn retrograde. We'll drop that periapsis down into into the atmosphere and go go for a re-entry. We'll find out. We'll find out if this will work. I really don't know if it will. I hope it will. Oh, this is cool. It's too bad he can't turn his lights on from here. Maybe he can. Let me see. Let's try something. If he leaves his seat and he turns the lights on in his helmet. Okay, there he is. Turn your pack on, dude. Thank you. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, oh, there we go. Now, we highlight this. Board. You, you leave your headlights on? Oh, guess what he does? Oh, cool. All right. That's very functional. Does that use any electricity doing that? This is 0.03. Oh, is it? Or maybe I didn't have to go through all that. You can just hit, whenever he's in the chair, you can just hit L, and it'll turn his headlights on and off. It's using 0 0.03 charge, whether it's on or off. Maybe, oh, I've still got the SAS on. Okay, well that that's very very convenient. Uh, rename vessel, Jeeksbit, one Kerbal. One Kerbal orbiter is a ship. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, just a little little bit of battery charge. It appears to be sufficient for our needs. Let's see if we start uh, maneuvering using that little reaction wheel, that tiny little probe core. Yeah, our charge goes from up from 0 0.3 to 0.4 to 0.5, so that that's okay. Whee! And for a vehicle this size, that reaction wheel is perfectly sufficient. It's like his motorcycle. He's got a he's got a space going motorcycle here. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Things. To, things to learn. Okay. The, the this this pod, the one Kerbal pod, it functions. It functions perfectly well, uh, in space. It, it can be uh, whenever you're thrusting. It it takes it takes a little bit of care because the the mass is asymmetric on it. But uh, you know, I have a lot of practice at dealing with that. Uh, other other than that, it works well. It, it could do. Maybe maybe get another. Put a light back here. So next step, we'll see how it re-enters. Yeah, that vehicle, that, that could take some fine-tuning. The uh, It took off and did the initial climb-out okay. It barely, barely got past Mach, and the whole transition when we decided to stop being an airplane and decided to start being a rocket and a spaceship, that was near disastrous. That was barely, barely controllable. Uh, that definitely needs some work. We can smooth out that design. This is this is this is a fun engineering challenge. Why? What? Now I don't get any Ike. Oh, maybe I don't have. There, there we go. Good, like that. It's too bad. Oh man, it's too bad about Kerman Freeman. <laughs> I w I wonder what how much force it takes to separate a Kerbal from his seat. Is that a function G force, or did it? Uh, did things flex and did it did it knock against him? Here, stop stop tumbling. Get some get some light in that solar panel. Okay, batteries charged back up. Isn't that nice? Wow, look at that mountain range. That's a tall one. It comes to, it comes to mind. I I really don't know. I wonder what the Tallest mountain range and the tallest individual mountain is on Kerbin. So many things we don't know about our planet. Jeeks bit smiling. Looks to me like he's smiling. Uh, we need to figure out a way. You know what would be ideal? I know in the, the Romfarer laser mod that we had things, there was a way to have like a, a picture in picture kind of thing. You would have a camera. It was because I had it in the robotic arms and you could see. I want to put a camera right here. Uh, looking, you know, looking at the Kerbal's face, so I could put the picture down here, so we could have the Kerbal's portrait that we're uh, so accustomed to looking at. I'll have to do uh, do some research, do some experimentation, see what it takes in order to make that happen. 
right up here. That's good. Okay, point this at 270. About there. Good. Okay, Jeekspit, here we go. I'm gonna burn retrograde. Which we're trying to come back home. Let's see what that does. There's our periapsis moving. Okay. That's enough. Uh, let's go ahead and make certain that we're highlighting the correct one. Let's jettison that state. I said jettison that stage as that is no longer helping us. Oh, did Jeekspit break loose? He appears to be loose. Um, are you... Let's do an F3. Um, are you okay, dude? Structural failure and linkage between Jeekspit, Kerman, and... Okay. But Jeekspit is still okay. Here, um, board. Cannot board a seat while not standing. I couldn't read it because my fraps frame counter is there. Uh, turn this off. Um... Here, throttle down. Oh, wait a second. No, I'm... Oh, I guess I'm not controlling him. Here, can we do it this way? Can we... Oh, no, now I'm controlling the vehicle. This could be kind of a disaster if we can't regain control of Jeekspit. That's the external command seat. Avionics GUI. That's interesting. Um, no, okay, so now, no, that's wrong. Now we are controlling Jeekspit. Okay, there we go, good. Jeekspit, your pack is on, good. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, let me see where you are. Burn upwards, good. Okay, it, these guys appear to, like, fall out of their seats kind of easily. Bored. Good, there we go. You're really kind of worrying me there, dude. Okay, now, can we point this thing? Retrograde, turn this resources on. Little right side up again. That was, I could see, because sometimes Kerbals, they get stuck into a geometry and they, they get, like, knocked out and they can't move. Um... Wow, let's see. That thing, it, it couldn't have had much of a G-force, much of a G-force G load on him. Let's see, here we go. Separation. Separation of stage three. Structural failure and linkage between Jeeks, Bitkerm, and it, it was just the kick of decoupling that. Maybe it's maybe it's a, just the a, a short, the a sharp uh, shock of it. That is concerning. That's okay. That's why we we go th and try new things just to find new problems that need solved, you know? Okay, here, let's do some more time compression. So, you know, re-enter in the night side. At least we'll have some pretty fireworks to look at. And he'll, he'll put on a good show, whether this works or not. <laughs> I really don't know if this is going to work. Uh, more time compressions. Get down to some lower altitude. Oh, you can see there's a spotted debris <laughs> over there. Our failed runway. Okay. Yeah, we'll try. It. We'll go kind of regular, regular time from here on in. Turn the SAS on. Good. I really don't know if this is gonna work. You, you're, you're a good, you're, you are, you are a hero. Which, however, it turns out, Jeekspit. Colonel Space Program is a long, glorious history of willing guinea pigs for ridiculous crap like this. Temperature over 300 degrees Celsius. And we're already, yeah, we're starting to lose some of the ablative shielding, but we should be seeing this stuff on the other side. You know, losing electric charge, but uh, where'd the temperature go? Yeah, temperature 128. Cheeks big. What, how, how, what's your temperature? Yeah, you're still below freezing. Good, 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 good. It means that this, this part, it, you know, at least the, the basics of the system are working. Okay. 
Here, I want to turn this on just so I can see the Mach numbers. Got over 2 G's of deceleration happening. And our temperature is actually falling. Yeah, we're starting to cool off here, Jeekspit. Oh, that's excellent. G-forces have up to 2.5 Gs out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure this will work. Mach 2.2. Uh, well, okay, let's try one thing. What happens if we turn SAS off? Will it be aerodynamically stable? Will it fall in the correct direction? Yes, it does. Okay, we're about to go subsonic. We're definitely aiming for a splashdown. The next thing that I'm concerned about, we, we have this history of uh, of knocking Kerbals out of their seats. Can he hang on to his seat through the opening shock of deploying the parachute? Okay, we are subsonic. Well, let's go ahead and do the parachute now. That is a real concern. I don't know the answer. I believe if it does knock him out, maybe he'll still be have something here to hang on to, right? Yeah, look at him kind of jiggling around in there. Can we strut Jake's bit to the seat? <laughs> Because we're going to go from, yeah, we've, we're going you know, greater than 100 meters per second straight down. We're going to go to, like, less, in theory, less than 10 in just a second. Really kind of, I'm really, I'm, I'm not, not kind of, I am concerned about this. I hope this works. Although if it doesn't, this will be yet more more interesting details and more challenge. Okay, coming. There's a thousand. We got 500 meters to go. Any second now. Cheeks bit. Hang on, dude. Brace, 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 brace. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, you saw him jiggle. Okay, good. Yeah, he's got a good grip. Okay, that worked. That worked. All right. Now the, the I guess the our final our final worry <laughs> is is I hope nothing bad happens to him whenever he hits the water. It shouldn't, right? Some more time compression, get him down lower. I see him wobbling around there. Will hitting the water knock him out of his seat? And if it does, will it hurt him? It does not knock him out of his seat. All right, let's see. Will this thing roll over when it floats? <laughs> okay, see how it's... All right, well, okay. Well, I see one mild design flaw in the vehicle. Oh, I suppose it's going to settle. Nah, it's going to stabilize head down. But, you know, that's okay. Because uh, he's, he's got a helmet on. All right, oh, that was all successful. It was, it was, it was a first attempt at this style of vehicle with the open, open cockpit, taking off like an airplane, converting, doing a transformer move into the transformer sound effects. Turn it, yeah, it takes off as an airplane, transforms into a rocket, goes into orbit, comes back, uh, open, whole open cockpit re-entry. <sighs> and he made it back. Jeeks bait. I'm so happy. I was really worried about you a couple points there. But, but I'm, I'm glad you held on. Maybe I need to take a look at um, um, uh, lowering decoupler force to, so as not to give this huge jolt whenever getting rid of uh, the, some of those stages and stuff. We'll look at okay, yeah, we have we have things to look at, but this was this was overall successful. Uh, recover flight of Jeekspit. <laughs> And I still don't know what was the bug, why it wasn't clearing junk off of the runway. That was odd. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, good success, good point to stop. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do some more episodes later. I'll talk to you then. Goodbye.